This video is sponsored by Tim K's favorite 1990s record artists, The Real McCoy, and their hit song, Run Away. Welcome to part 2 of the adventures of Tim, the washing machine pickup artist. Tim's escape plan. Introduction. People pay millions for a Claude Monet painting of a French sunset, but I think the most dedicated painter in the world is Timothy K. He paints himself as a victim any chance he gets and has honed it into a craft. His attention to detail is immaculate from the deliberate slow monotonous speaking voice to the hangdog look to the self-deprecation. This guy's acting is as Harold would say. Quite exquisite. So in Tim's latest video he carried on about not having guy friends. This is most likely a primer for bailing on both the Philippines island and his child. Analysis. What are the chances that this guy really values guy friends as he calls them? History is the best predictor of the future. If he values guy friends so much, why did he fly to only countries where he doesn't even speak the language? I'm no expert, but the ability to communicate might come in handy when trying to establish friendships. He flew to Russia to try to shack up with young poor girls when he didn't even speak the language and stayed there for a very long time. He targeted young girls who were poor. He got one who was making $7 a day at her work. Tim tells us how a girl got buyer's remorse after sleeping with him and told him never to contact her again. What a smooth operator he must be. But who knows, maybe he just forgot to buy her a washing machine. The strange thing is during Tim's entire Soviet adventure, he didn't mention his pining for male friends once, and he wrote a ton of in-depth thousand-word Rouge V forum posts. He had no guy friends in Russia or Eastern Europe and stayed there for years, and then immediately flew to a random Philippines island where he doesn't speak the language either, on the quest for Asian clams. In all this time, it didn't seem to bother him one iota that he didn't have guy friends. But now that he has gotten someone pregnant in the Philippines, he's developed this crushing and newly emergent need for guy friends. Maybe it's just pure coincidence. Maybe it's Maybelline. Or maybe Tim just wants to make a sequel to his first deadbeat dad movie. The first installment was him doing a runner on a kid that looked like him. This one will have him leaving a child of a child. And the third in the trilogy is rumored to take place in Africa. It will be called cool. Once You Go Black. You run away if they get pregnant. Many people suspect he's throwing out these videos featuring his misgivings with the Philippines to prepare his audience and get them warmed up for what's to come to preempt his upcoming desertion. He's about to push the eject button on the Philippines and fly out never to return. Tim may carry a lot of excess baggage, but when it comes to abandoning children, this guy makes Usain Bolt look like Stephen Hawking. He's very fast. I mean if abandoning your child was an Olympic sport, Tim could be a gold medalist. So even when it comes to his own flesh and blood in America, he has no sense of responsibility whatsoever. Conclusion. Many people still defend Tim saying we can't take his ex-wife's word as gospel because she may have an axe to grind. Yet, these same people took Tim's word as gospel in this video, my story. Not one solitary comment there questioned his version of events, but now they want to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and be objectivity police and cross-examine every statement and see all the receipts when a new narrative is suggested which they don't like. Where was all the double checking when Tim spouted his lies? Or is doing a solemn voiceover enough to establish credibility? His wife doesn't want to get embroiled in the YouTube drama which is fair play, but because of her and her brother taking the high road and not being involved, she has ended up suffering irreparable damage to her reputation, with Tim being able to set the narrative unopposed and paint her as the villain of the piece. He has 50,000 subscribers, courtesy of Harold's coattails, and can spread his version of the truth to everyone there. So if he has evidence to refute her allegations it's very simple for him to clear himself. And we already know he reads the comments here, so he can't say he isn't aware of his wife's claims. Anyways what are your thoughts? Is Tim being judged harshly for running out on his children and responsibilities? Or do we owe it to the voiceless to speak up for them when they cannot speak for themselves? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and thanks for all the new subscribers. We've blasted through the thousand subscriber landmark. Comments have been non-stop on this video. The responses were mixed. Nikola Kurovic says, Looks like Chrissy and her family hit the jackpot and you losers think they're in trouble. Bella Vita says, Thanks for exposing these creeps. I agree Tim will leave Chrissy when she no longer serves a purpose for him or his channel. 
Loki says, Tim will go to any length to get your channel banned now. Blazing Angel says, Even nice followers who tried to give him advice or concern about his health he'd curse out and belittle them. Spurgvatnik says, You'll never catch me you pesky kids ma ha 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 ha. This shit is like a Scooby Doo episode. Who says, says, Tim could redeem himself if he really tried. And finally, Larry Wilson says, I think he will just pack up and leave this lovely young girl too. He'll even take the scooter.